so friends we will be discussing our next topic that is called inspiration and the idea it is the inspiration and the idea behind it so we will discuss into what the idea is and ideal is and what inspiration is and how they are both actually linked that is this class about so let us have an idea of idea what is an idea what is an idea you might have heard this word word a lot of time there was a popular mobile company also with that name idea but what is an idea idea is a thought in your mind my friends it is a thought in your mind that is called idea but where is the origin of this idea from it is something from ideal what is an ideal ideal one is something that is a perfect one a perfect concept or a perfect shape of something so when i say it is ideal country it is an ideal government it is an ideal college means it is like the benchmark and it is the 100% of what a college means if i say it is a ideal college then it is 100% of what that college is if i say it is an ideal government then it is 100% of what a government is that is what ideal means and idea has come from ideal only and what this idea is is like we'll get into a small topic or a matter of debate it is a debate between idea and the matter it is a little philosophical topic but it is connected to our ingenuity module how i'll tell you and we'll when we connect it to the inspiration you will understand that so this there is a small debate called idea versus matter which is first which is first that was the debate whether matter has come before or whether idea is before say for example for you to understand it in a simple manner say suppose there is a chair there is some chair so this chair was manufactured it was converted into matter means you are able to touch it it is tangible you are able to touch it feel it but now you tell me without having an idea of chair is it possible to manufacture a chair so a chair is manufactured it has come into material existence but without having an idea of chair is it possible to create a chair that is my question and this is what the idealists say that there is an idea of chair even before it was manufactured it was brought into a material existence that is why they would say idea is before matter okay so they say one knows what a chair is what an ideal chair is and what the idea of the chair itself is then they worked on it to create this chair that is why they would say idea is before matter but what does materialist say materialist say you don't know what a chair is you don't know how it looks you haven't manufactured it you haven't seen it or anything so how is that before manufacturing the chair you will have an idea of chair they say that different pieces of wood were brought they were set in different aspects and different manners and people sat on it they felt comfortable that is how the chair has come into existence means a chair was manufactured first 
then we got an idea that this is called chair this is what materialists would say but idea is nothing but a thought in your mind so where would the whole idea of the chair would have begun people were standing for hours together days together weeks together they were getting tired so they wanted something that can give them a relaxing position when they sit and they don't want to sit down they want to sit on something which gives them the comfort so the idea is that okay if you want to sit down without a chair if you have to sit so it is this thighs and the back that need support so we will make something for the thighs to rest on and we'll make something for the back to rest on and we'll make all this stand on something then it will be a comfortable position to sit this is the idea of chair and once it is there in the mind people started working on it they brought different materials they brought different shapes sizes and everything and an ideal chair was manufactured from this idea so this is a very old debate it is almost a 5000 year old debate to say which has come first but from this debate you get an idea of what an idea is idea is nothing but a thought in your mind it could be any idea it could be any idea it is not idea is like a bulb every time an idea comes there will be a bulb in your mind no you you fall asleep in the night in the morning you don't know what time it is you don't know what whatever the situation is or anything but your mind wakes up and it will tell you get out of the bed get out of the bed it is an idea so your mind is saying get out of the bed now so mind may be convinced that body is rested enough the mind is rested enough you can wake now get out of the bed it is an idea it is a thought so in this manner a, almost every thought is an idea but at the same time you just cannot keep running behind all the thoughts that you have in a day why it's practically impossible because a human mind has at least 40000 to 50000 thoughts in a day imagine imagine scrutinizing each of these ideas it will be tiresome but there will be few ideas there will be few ideas which when repeated thought about conceptualized and worked upon can can provide an inspiration so what inspiration is literally speaking what is the meaning of inspiration inspiration means taking in it could be anything so it's like respiration you are taking in air so inspiration is literal meaning is taking in so what do you take in in an inspiration you take the idea my friends you take in the idea you nurture it you develop it you conceptualize it you start working towards it and you will get it into the matter eventually say suppose for example the idea is i want to get out of the college with 75% marks that's an idea when you take that idea into yourself repeatedly that is through 
inspiration and work towards it you should also work in unison with that idea you get up in the morning you study you go to the college if you are poor in particular subject you focus on it more you take the guidance of your friends you take the guidance of your teachers everyone then one day it will come into the matter what is that that idea of passing with 75% marks but for many of the thoughts and the ideas that we get in a day like get out of the bed we get out of the bed we don't give much thought to it and it is not an idea that it is so special or you'll have to work towards it no it's something immediate but not all ideas are like that your mind would say now you go get freshen up you just prepare yourself get ready for going to the college get ready for going to the office so it would take or it would say that it will stipulate 30 minutes 45 minutes or 1 hour for that process if that idea is there in your mind you don't take it properly in you get out of the bed you go and sit in the sofa and keep scrolling the phone keep watching the tv you don't get ready to go to college you don't get ready to go to office it's not inspiration because you are not taking in that idea so there is a possibility that you will be getting an idea of what you wanted to achieve what you want to achieve in your life what you make want to make out of your life it could be an idea of okay let me go to us pursue ms so if it is that is the idea and if you take it repeatedly inside you that is in the form of inspiration what you will do you will enroll yourself for gre classes tofel classes you go attend those classes take in that knowledge properly observe it absorb it you implement it and when the time is right you give that exam you score you apply for the universities and that whole process will be completed and one day you will be flying to that country how did it come into effect how did it come to materialize it starts with an idea my friend it all starts with an idea but not all ideas you can cling on to not all ideas you will be able to take in repeatedly but if you have an idea you of achieving something grabbing something attaining something you should take in repeatedly in the form of inspiration so here inspiration is not a noun it is a verb it is an action when i ask you what is your inspiration you don't say my inspiration are my parents my inspiration is my parents my inspiration is dr apj abdul kalam because it is a noun yes it is also a form of inspiration but the inspiration that i have been talking about is a verb that one that will lead you into the action that will give you the necessary push to act upon an idea that is inspiration so you may have heard about a word called motivation how do you motivate yourself what is self motivation so i don't believe in that idea of motivation because it is only short lived motivation is only short lived even if it is from outside or from inside so don't just get motivated my friends get inspired get inspired get inspired by what get inspired by your own ideas your own ideas it is not someone else's idea it is not an idea forced into your mind your mind will say this is the idea 
when you take the correct inspiration from that and work get it into action you will see your idea getting into a material thing so if you want to land into a job get that idea of i want to get into a job i want to get employed and take in that idea more and more like you take breath like you take in air you take that idea into yourself over and over again then you will start looking at the path the means everything and you just don't go sit there and keep thinking about i want to get a job i want to get a job and somebody will come and give you a job no the inspiration that i have told is verb it demands an action you need to act also you need to act what do you need to do you will have to sharpen your skills you will have to work on getting that job you will see what the job is you will learn what interview is what kind of job you want to get into you will see what the competition is you will see what the what the successful people who have got the job have done you also add your own basic ingredients and secret ingredients to that but it will come into matter it will come into materialize that is how you get that inspiration and the idea that is how you achieve things in life that is this idea about inspiration and the idea behind it an idea is nothing friends an idea is a thought in your mind your mind would say hey no no get the hell out of the college you go pursue a job where ask your mind get inspired get into action then you will understand what kind of a job what kind of skills you need to equip yourself with what kind of efforts you need to make towards it efforts means again it's not endurance it's not sweating it's not like pushing yourself go conquer the limits not that you will understand it because you need to learn to do it in a effortless way how is it possible with passion i told you the passion and burning desire but the whole process of turning this idea into matter is through inspiration so inspiration is the action it should be clubbed with your passion then you will see all the great things that you have imagined for yourself you will see that why did i explain the debate of idea versus matter because ideally speaking again like idealists say you first get an idea you first get an idea of yourself standing in a high rise building in san francisco on some like 64th floor and looking at the city it's just an idea my friends it's imagination it's a thought but how do you convert it into a matter how do you materialize it you will do it through inspiration get inspired your mind is always giving you ideas to make your life always better but more often than not we don't listen to it because we don't get inspired when your mind says go get the job what you think is or what your mind again says is oh it's a very very hard way you'll have to go learn new skills get uh, gain and uh, spend some more time on something it's very hard they are asking me to listen speak write read and all oh i'm tired of doing all that since last 15 20 years of my life you are not inspired if you are not inspired your idea will never materialize 
So get that idea, get inspired, that is get into action, get into action, then you will see things materializing. The secret ingredient in all this is your passion, burning desire. There would be so many circumstances in life mocking at you, bullying you, laughing at you. But do you have guts to change that? Do you have enough burning desire and passion to change your life? No matter what, no matter what, it will get you into the action. So pick such kind of ideas from your mind. Get inspired on one of those ideas and get into the action and bring in your secret ingredient as to why, why you want to do that. Because you want to change your life. Do that passionately with a burning desire. You just don't, do, you just don't go to college, attend the class or soft skills module only, you just come, oh my father had paid some amount, I will have to come listen to these classes and go home. There is no use. If you do not have desire in yourself, get desire, why do not you want to become rich, do not you want to become great, do not you want to buy things, do not you want to move places around the world. So, that should give you the desire, that should be, that will also give you that passion. The passion is not something that you will have in every field. There are few fields, creative fields and there are some other fields where people will be infinitely focused on only one thing. That is passion. Sachin Tendulkar left everything only to run behind cricket. He achieved it because he had such kind of passion. There would be many other people who may not have achieved it because they may have doubted themselves or they may not had not had 100 percent of passion or they may have been forced to study rocket science or aerospace engineering. It is possible. But all that starts from the idea in your brain my friends. Everything starts with the idea, that idea from inside your head. So, follow that idea, nurture that idea, grow that idea, take action and you will see all those ideas getting into material things. This is the class on inspiration and the idea behind the same. It is a little philosophical or a technical class, but this forms the basis this forms the basis for any achievement that anyone wants to pursue in their lives, not just jobs, anything. As I had told you in the previous class, the real purpose of education is not knowledge, it is imagination. So, open up your minds and imagine crazy things and great things happening for you. And get inspired, take action, mix passion in between, consistently work on something, you will crack it. That is the way things are done. That is the reason this class is being included in this ingenuity module. That is with this inspiration. So friends, I will see you in the next class with the subsequent topics. So, if you have any doubts, as I have told you, please ping me in the comment section and feel free to contact me. I will be providing my contact information at the end of the videos. Signing off for now, Bharat Bhushan, Ralapalli.